at the arm booth, you're showing some graphics. Yeah, the so that's correct. So we're showing that we can deliver beyond HD graphics. So uh, you know, the, this is the Nexus 10. And uh, the resolution of this device is 2560 by 1600, which is uh, four megapixels, uh, twice the number of pixels of 1080p. And we're able to deliver this level of content at that kind of resolution with the Mali T604. Um, so this is a, this is a, what you call a benchmark, right? So this is Epic Citadel from Epic Games. This is a, kind of like a, a showcase of their unreal technology. It also has a benchmarking functionality as well. We've actually got the result here. The Nexus 10, uh, so it's a 2560 by 1600 res device. Uh, if you remove the bottom bar, which isn't rendered to there, it's just got the uh, UI, then it's 2560 by 1504, just below four megapixel, and we can achieve 53.3 .3 average FPS. Uh, I've seen some benchmarks from our competitors, and frankly, they come nowhere near this. So, you know, we're really happy with the result. What do the competitors do? Uh, you'd have to Google. Uh, but, you know, we're really happy with the result and uh, we're going to continue improving on that. So what is this in that? Okay, so this is one of our old GLES 2 demos, Timbuk2. And uh, this is running on Android. So Android currently only supports OpenGL ES2. And uh, this was the demo we made to showcase uh, what you can do with Mali GPUs a few years ago. And uh, over here we've got the OpenGL ES3 version. And uh, I can talk you through some of the major benefits of OpenGL ES3. Currently, GLES3 isn't supported by Android, but hopefully it will be soon. Uh, so there are a number of differences. Uh, if I just uh, sort of, so first of all, for example, self-shadowing. The bars here are shadowing onto the back of the car. That's not possible with GLES2. Uh, I will turn off, I'll put it back in GLES2 mode and I'll punch a big hole in the floor. So now we're in a big hole in the floor. And uh, because we only have 2D textures, it's basically sampling the same texture. Uh, but by moving to GLES3, we have 3D textures, and you can see that we're able to, uh, as we deform the uh, terrain, we can actually sample down into a 3D texture, and you go from like you know the sand to the sort of earth to the rock below. And uh, that's not possible with GLES2. Also, de uh, we've got some post-processing effects, such as uh, depth of field. So those trees over there in the distance, on the GLES2 mode, they, uh, they just look like this. It looks like that? Yeah, yeah, so uh, that's me turning it off and then I'll turn it back on again. You see it gets slightly blurry there. That's a, it's kind of introducing this concept of a focal point in the scene, which you know your eye would have, and uh, so would a camera. So we also have bloom. So these uh, silver bars here, they're actually producing a specular reflection. Uh, if you were to look at that with a camera or your eye, that specular reflection would actually kind of wash over into the surrounding uh, sort of space. And uh, you can't do that with GLES2, but with GLES3, there it is. Uh, we're able to sort of wash out slightly the surrounding area of those specular reflections. And uh, finally, another cool thing is uh, HDR. So without HDR, I'm in a bright area right now and I'm looking into that shaded area and I can still kind of see the texture there. So I turn on HDR and uh, essentially you introduce this idea of an exposure level for a scene. You know, kind of like if you're in a bright room looking into a dark room, you can't really see what's going on or you're in a dark room looking out at a bright scene and it's, it's kind of hurting your eyes a bit, that sort of thing. So as we drive into this dark area, the, the exposure level of the scene normalizes and we begin to see more of the uh, sort of texture detail there. And the opposite is true as well. If we move out into this uh, bright area, currently the bright area, you can't really see any detail there. But as we drive out, the scene will normalize and we will see more and more of that uh, texture nice. quality there. It's like having a camera on auto, uh, exactly, white yeah. balance and all that. Yeah, yeah, so this is HDR. I mean, there are a lot of uh, photography techniques now to do HDR, and we can do it in games now too with Glass 3. Very cool. So, OpenGL ES 3.0 yes. enabled. Right yeah, now. so the, the T600 series GPUs are all Glass 3 enabled. Uh, we, ex we, well, we, we expect Android to include it soon, relatively soon, but when they do, we'll be ready. We've already had this, I mean, the Nexus 10's been out for uh, maybe four or five months now. It came out in October 2012, or around that time. So, you know, we've had this silicon for a while now, and when Android support it, we'll already have been on the market with this for, for you know, maybe a year. That means awesome games. It means awesome games 